Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back as always. If you are new to the channel, let me just welcome you and say what's up. My name is Melissa Q. And thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to chit chat with your girl. Yes. I hope you guys are enjoying maintenance Mondays. I am definitely like, I'm so excited for this series. Y'all don't even know. I am like three weeks ahead in terms of in terms of footage but definitely let me know what you guys want to see on maintenance Mondays but of course this is on a different day this is on Friday yes we are going to go through our favorites and some not so favorites from the drugstore I did want to put my disappointments in here just because I thought it would be a great way to show you guys a good balance of my favorites from the drugstore and not so favorites that are curly hair and I got this recommendation from one of you guys if I know the gal I will definitely pop her in the video I love giving out shout outs I don't know if you guys know that let me know if that's something that you definitely want me to continue to do if you guys want the shout out but I did want it to come with my favorites and not so favorites from the drugstore so let's just jump right in I will be honest with you some of these although they're from the drugstore they are still pricey sometimes it's not so great just to go for the inexpensive we are going for quality i am talking about the quality products and not so great ones right now so the first one i'm going to talk about is the shea moisture monongo hemp seed oil high porosity moisture seal shampoo i love this um i am not a person that lathers my hair with products but this one is super moisturizing I like the lather and um, I just make sure that I only do this once I can only really wash my hair once with this and uh, that's just like with foamy products anyway but I make sure that I get my scalp really really well another one that I don't have with me because I did run out of that was the as I am coconut cleansing conditioner co-wash now I know it says co-wash on there but it's actually a cleansing conditioner I do if I could use that too much my hair does feel stripped so I just want to let you know that as well so the next items that I want to talk about are leave-in conditioners I have three two of these can dual as a styler and a leave-in conditioner but the first one the most ex inexpensive this will run you about six dollars this is the Garnier Whole Blends Legendary Olive Intensely Nurtures and Softens it's still a cold free and it's no way down I love this this moisturizes my hair I can go in with a moisturizer with this as a moisturizer with this that's what I meant to say and this is paraben free as well I love this it is so so good um, I love this because, you know, Garnier is owned by L'Oreal, which is not a cruelty-free brand, but this is silicone-free, paraben-free. This is no way down. It does not say that it's not cruelty-free on here, but when a product is silicone-free, no way down, um, it's a natural blend and it's paraben-free. I feel like that this is a, you know, a pretty good product from the drugstore that still is somewhat conscious of like health issues and everything. So I really do enjoy this. It's super duper moisturizing. I do have a review on this product. I do have a review on this one as well. So um, I will link anything that I have a review down in the description box. To just make sure you expand it or it'll be here in the iCards. So the next one I want to talk about that is an amazing leave-in conditioner that duels as a deep conditioner. So I love double duty products like this. This is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. Now this is a hair mask but in, a, in the winter this is the type of leave-in I would want because it's super moisturizing it smells like a floral coconut scent um, if that is not your jam then you might not want to go with this because this does linger in the hair but it's absolutely amazing it's a great moisturizer it's also a great styler it's a great deep conditioner this is something that I would take on travel with me just because I could use it as a styler and a leave-in and a deep conditioner so it is amazing I love it and yeah this is a holy grail for me and I do have a review of the whole set. So great leave-in conditioner. Let's talk about another leave-in. This is the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twist Butter. 
this I use as a leave-in a lot but this is also a double duty as a styler it is amazing this is going to be more pricey for you from the drugstore I'm gonna list all the prices down below or at least a link so you can check out the prices but this is on the more pricier side but it's totally totally worth it especially when they double duty um, this one is so good this is a holy grail I have been using this for years this is probably maybe my third or fourth jar of this I love it I love it this is a product that I won't uh, be without let me know in the comments down below if you want to see all of my products that I can't live without because some of these I can't live without but some of them I need to have and I get kind of nervous when I'm low this is something that I don't want to be without so I absolutely love this it duels as a styler for me for my twist outs and a moisturizer and a leave-in so triple duty for this one let's talk about oils I have three I know I have talked about these in favorites videos before the Maori moisture shea uh, heal and hydrate shea butter raw oil I love this I have this in my hair right now this is amazing for shine this is great for sealing your hair this is great for just being very very lightweight for high porosity you know and you have fine thin hair if you have fine thin hair this is great because it's an oil it's just gonna run down the strand and I like I tend to like oils just because I feel like that they can coat the hair a lot easier sometimes when oils or butters are when butters are not emulsified enough they would only stay to one part but they won't glide down the whole hair strand so you'll have a moisturized patch and then you will have like a dry patch and that's why I tend to like oils rather than butters and it just evenly distributes throughout the hair I absolutely love this and this one is silicone free which I love because I tend to not like especially with my curly hair this is crazy I tend not to like silicone uh, like oils but some of them will work like the one I'm about to talk about but um, yeah I really do enjoy this I do have a review on this one as well this one is from uh, this one is from Organics. This is the Fade Defining Orchid Oil. This is for color protectant oil as well. It smells amazing. It does have cones in this, I believe. But this does have glycerin, so I have to be careful with this. But it smells so good, and it's amazing for shine. Oh, it smells so good. It's amazing for shine, though. Um, I really do like this in the summer. Super duper lightweight. And I'm tending, I'm seeing that I like spray bottles. This one is okay, but I feel like this distributes on my hair directly versus something like this that has to be applied. And sometimes I can be a bit, bit heavy-handed. Spritz like this and mist. Also, it controls how much oil you distribute. So I really do like that one. And finally, the this is the Shea Moisture Magnango High Porosity Moisture Seal Finishing Elixir. This is amazing. I went through this so quick. That's a good sign that I love something and it's in a spray bottle. I won't be without this one. Um, I ran, I'm running low, but I'm currently not getting any oils. I wanna run through some oils that I have, but this one is a great from the drugstore. Let's talk about some deep conditioners because this is pretty much my favorite. Some of these I don't have with me, like the High Porosity. I ran out of that one. The High Porosity Monongo Seed. That's my favorite. The Manuka Honey Mafura Oil. Both of those are by Shea Moisture. Those are amazing deep conditioners. I did talk about the Maui Moisture. Love this one as a deep conditioner. Let's talk about Camille Rose. I've talked about this one and this is probably, um, this is in my top three. This is the Camille Rose Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. It is amazing. If you have high porosity hair, try this. This is so hydrating. This is a product that you guys actually mentioned to me. Actually, these two, which I think I'm going to come with a video of products that you guys have suggested that I try and um what i think about them because some of the some of them um did not work for me but there are some that you guys talked about that are so so amazing but this is super hydrating i do have a review on this this one detangles like a dream oh my lord this is amazing hair treatment this one is a concentrated rinse out for silky soft hair this one I love I love it so much and I do have a review on this so check it out okay and I've talked about this one before this is the Oars hair mayonnaise 
I love this. It is so good. I have a review on this. This will run you about nine dollars. This one is this one is a tough cookie. If you need some strengthening hair strengthening properties to your hair, this is something that you definitely want to put in your hair. It is so good. It's great for like split ends. You have some breakage. This one is a really, really good one and is affordable. I did pick mine up from Sally's, but I also have seen this in Walgreens Rite Aid um, as well. So I really do enjoy that one. Okay, so let's move on to some of my favorite edge control. These two. This is the Cream of Nature Ar Argon Perfect Edges. This smells so good. By the way, the other one smells good too. But this one I feel like has a little bit more oomph to it and really slicking down my hair. I really love this. And then this is the Passion Fruit Control Curl Control Paste by Curls. This smells amazing. Smells good, so good. So let's move on to some of my not so favorites, okay, that I still have around because a lot of them went out with that declutter. Okay, so I have two to talk about. This is the As I Am Smoothing Gel okay this for some reason does not hold in my hair i don't know what it is i would rather use something like eco styler um the green that one is amazing which i forgot to even talk about that in terms of a gel those are not glycerin free but i love the olive oil i love the coconut and i love the black castor and flaxseed those are my three jams from eco styler but i love those i'm actually looking at them right now i don't know why i didn't include them and I'm so sorry, but I did mention them. Here it goes. This I have tried over and over and over. And this is a smoothing gel, but this does not smoothing my hair. My hair hair wants to like it does it wants to curl back and get frizzy with this one. I don't know. Let me know if there's a way that I need to use this because it just does not work for me. And I, I want it to work, but it doesn't work for me. Okay, I think I talked about this in my review. This, I'm not a favorite. Uh, this is not a favorite uh, for mine. Even though it's for high porosity hair, uh, glycerin is the devil. So this has glycerin in it. It is sulfur, sulfate free and color safe. Uh, sulfate free, I hope this is sulfate free because usually SLSs are in your, they're in your cleansers, not necessarily in your gels. But anyway, this, um, this was very hydrating. But glycerin is number three on the list. This contains a lot of glycerin. And the only time that I can maybe get away with this is in the summertime. There's no way I could use this in the winter. No way. So this is getting decluttered. So those are my favorites, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment and let me know what your favorites are, especially if you're a high porosity girl. Whether you're relaxed, straight, put your favorites down below. I would love to hear them. And also put your disappointments i love to know what people are disappointed of and as to why i think that it is very good information and it also helps brands improve their products comment down below it and let me know what your favorites and disappointments are from the drugstore thanks so much for watching and i will see beautiful you in the next video bye ladies.